Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Obsidian versus Craft because uh, they're both the tools that I use. I use them for different things in my note-taking system. I'm going to talk about why I like them, what I think they both excel at, and make some suggestions about what you should be doing. Before we do that, a couple ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismchael.ca slash membership. Number two, take a course, curtismchael.ca slash education. Remember, members, get my courses included. Buckle up, let's compare Rome, keep wanting to say Rome, Obsidian, and Craft. First thing you need to address when you're looking at either of the options is which platforms do you use? If you are Apple only, then you're great. Either one will work fine. If you use Windows, Linux, other things like that, then Craft is not going to be an option for you, or it's going to be a less stellar option for you. If you have a good web app, I think a web app is really good, actually. So you could just use it in web version, but native apps are only available on Apple devices. So that's probably your first question. Which devices do you use? I'm all Apple here, so I can pick either one happily. Number two, visuals. How does the application look? And honestly, Craft just wins here. Craft is a better looking application. The card looks, the pages, the different like ways you can lay out your pages just better in craft easier as well it is much easier to do yes you can with some minimal theme with some other things in data view you could get similar looks in obsidian but craft just better hands down now live preview has also increased the beauty of obsidian it's nice i really like it i'm using it i think it's excellent it's got support for a lot of plugins again now good but craft just wins hand down number three extensibility so Obsidian has had a head start here. There's just, that's it. It's had a head start. It's got way more plugins, way more extensions for it. It was actually built um, as a core application with extensions. Some of the core features in Obsidian are extensions, core plugins you can turn off and on. So it had a good API right from the beginning. Whereas Craft has just kind of released this now. API is only available on Mac OS if you turn on developer mode. And there are some decent plugins. I just did Craftist recently, which is a Todoist integration. Um, I've done a couple others. They're good, but they still have a ways to go to come anywhere near what Obsidian offers you in the extension front. Number, I don't know, whatever this is. I'm sure there's a number up here somewhere that you can see. Data ownership and portability. There's one thing we learned from legacy applications like Evernote is you want to be able to own your data and get it out. While Craft does its own JSON database format, it has a really good export system. It actually has five points uh, around its data responsibility that they've actually done a blog post on. They've come a good way on this. Number one, your data is always available uh, as they store your data on device in the cloud. You can edit offline. So you have the data for you. It's not locked away behind their server where you can't get at it. Your data is always accessible because they built it for all platforms and then added the web application later. Number three, they let you make your own data trade-offs by allowing external locations, but you do lose some of the advanced functionality like collaboration. Number four, you can move your data. This is backed up really well with their export. When I moved from Craft to Obsidian for my main research reading notes, it was easy. Export, basically done. <laughs> the only things that were hard was when I messed up. I, If you're going to do that, go into Obsidian, move your files from Obsidian, links will stay. Don't do it from the finder. It's, you're just going to mess stuff up like I did. Number five is where they're working most is their API. They want to have a full API where they can you can really dig into your application from anything. Uh, so anyone could write to the API and you could not even use Craft, but use the Craft system. But data ownership was made in early 2021. And since then, Craft has continued to take on each of these points and do a pretty good job, right? We're seeing number five with the API continuing to open up. It's pretty easy to move all your files out of Craft and into other tools like Obsidian, like LogSec, anything that takes Markdown. Pretty easy. Now, Obsidian still going to win here. It's just Markdown files. You can just, they're on your hard drive. You can do whatever you want with them. You can use Sync. You can sync on your own. You can do anything you want. So you just own the files. Number five, because I looked up the numbers. Speed. Craft just wins hand down here. Uh, it, it just does. Um, there is a guy named Eric. He does really good speed tests. There'll be some links in the show notes below about how he does speed tests on applications. Obsidian just wins. Obsidian is the fastest one out there. That's it. Craft doesn't even import 10,000 notes from his system, from his tests, because it just hits too many blocks. So if you're going to get into a big database at some point, Obsidian is going to win. Although I got to be honest, I don't think most people are going to hit this 100,000 block limit that uh, Craft has anytime soon. So finally, what tool should you use? Really, it's up to you. <laughs> it kind of depends on what you want. If you are more visually oriented. So I use Craft for, let's say, researching desks, researching uh, stuff like this, like visual things. I use it with my wife to collaborate on a house project where we can drop in images of things we like when we're going to redo a room. Then we can create a buy list and a sub page there and we can really dig into it together. Much easier for my wife to use Obsidian would be, she just wouldn't want to learn it. Not beyond her. She's a smart lady, but she just wouldn't want to learn it. So 
that's what I do. I keep all my visual stuff over there. All my reading, research, writing is an obsidian. Text-based stuff is just an obsidian. That's how I split it up. That's how I would recommend it. If you are familiar with code, if you're comfortable with code, if you like Markdown, then obsidian can be the one. If you see Markdown or code, you hear the word code and you're like, Ugh, I'm never going to look at that. Craft is the one for you. Either way, they're both really good tools. Craft is coming along with its API. Craft is beautiful. Obsidian is coming along with its beauty. Uh, it has an excellent API already. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. And turn off your dupe notifications because you don't want them. Read, research, hang out with your kids, something like that. Otherwise, you can support the channel by becoming a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or taking a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Or if you're on Skillshare already, there are links to all my courses below. That's down here, below. They're all on Skillshare too. Have a good day. I'm going to probably take a nap now.